I'm just sitting here at the gardens on Green Street at Keith Phelps' house enjoying this beautiful sunny fall day. It's one of my favorite seasons for decorating. Let's check in with Keith and see what he has for us today. Well, I'm here with Keith Phelps and Keith, I think my favorite part about fall is all the beautiful decorations that we get uh, from nature. Yes, it's really an exciting time of the year. It's a beautiful time of the year. I feel like things in the garden just slow down a little bit. Yeah. So what we're gonna be making is in this bushel basket, we're gonna go ahead and make a fall container. So I have it about half filled with soil right now. Yep. And we're gonna add in, now this grass is a perennial. Okay, this is a panicum and it's called Cheyenne Sky. And as the season goes on, the plumes on this are gonna to start to get more and more of a pinkish red to it. Ooh, nice. So we're gonna open this up just a little bit because it is a little bit root bound, but not bad. And we're gonna put this right at the very back of the container. So can we cut that back and pop it in the ground this spring? You sure can. Okay, good. Yep, like that's that. why I like to use perennials yep. in the um, planters. Now, what we're gonna do is fill this up and the next plant I want, there's another grass there. It's sort of a brown yep. grass. That's I called it. a carex. Um, it is not dead. Um, <laughs> <I was gonna laughs> that is its color like... for fall. <laughs> it's called red rooster. And um, we're going to put that in along with the uh, really intense uh, Celosia there that's yeah. in that vibrant purple. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, they are called actually Intenz, I-N-T-E-N-Z. Um, and we're going to take and put those sort of back here at this back edge. All right. So as we put those in, we're going to do the grass on one side. And then on the other side of that, I want to put this guy. That color is, oh, it's beautiful. It's such a brilliant magenta color. All right, so now why don't you hand me the mum. Um, again, if most of you remember, mums are perennial in our area, but because we're taking them and using them for a showpiece right now, most likely this won't come back next year. There's an 80% chance mm -hmm. it's not gonna make it. If you wanted to try to do this, you should do it as soon as you can get it and it goes right in the ground, right. okay? You don't put it in the container and then take it out at the end of the fall and think it's gonna make it because it won't have enough time to root in. All right. Okay, um, let's go with the, uh, Super Cal, which is the Bordeaux. Yeah, this is Again, nice too. Again, another beautiful color. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pull this one over here so that we pull that sort of violet shade through the container. And we'll put this guy right here at the edge, like that. We're gonna leave a little space right there. And I want the cabbage now. Sure. If you could get me the cabbage. This one here? Yep. We're using cabbage and kale. I love to use those at the uh, fall time. Mm -hmm. Remember these again are gonna go all the way through, sometimes through Thanksgiving, even to Christmas time. They do. And as it gets cooler, they are gonna actually get more vivid in color in the center. Believe it or not, this is actually a pink one. And this is gonna turn like into a pink rose. Um, over the course yeah. of the next couple of weeks. Some of them get to that burgundy color. I yeah. remember you used to use these like so long ago <laughs> yes. and now everybody's like kind of jumped on that because you're right, they do, they're, they're beautiful. They are gorgeous. So the next thing I want is the clay pot. What we're gonna do with that is I wanna set that upside down right here in the middle of the container. And I wanna push it down in just a little bit so that it's sturdy and flat. Mm -hmm. All right, and now I want you to give me a couple marigolds. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of those in here. All right. Yeah. We'll take and put one right here. Okay. Again, think of bedding plants as another thing that you can use uh, for the holiday season because the colors on them are great and they work really well. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a pumpkin back here. Oh, I love, I love. And I have the little wire yes. handle there that's sort of holding it in place. Oh, I love And this. I wanna take, and in this spot right here by the cabbage, I think what I'm gonna do is use some of the um, Jack Belittles. Now, we have our planter 
almost ready to go. But what we're going to do to finish it off is I have gotten a lantern. So we're going to take it and then we're going to put a battery operated candle in it that actually has a timer in it. So it's on for five hours and off for 19. And we're going to set them up right on. Oh, it's this elegant. The top of that. Keith, I love this. This rustic elegance, it's just so lovely and it really gets me pumped for fall. Great, <laughs> that's what we wanna do. And with the broom corn in it and the pumpkins and stuff, this is gonna take you all the way through Thanksgiving. If you go to our website, which is keithphelps.com, uh, we have all of the stuff that we have available for sale on there. We would have fall wreaths, we have fall arrangements, and uh, just different things that would get you through these different holiday seasons. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure for you to come. Thanks, Keith. Happy fall.